guys, it's Carrie here and I'm back with another video. This time it's a quick little speed paint that I did because I found out that uh, one of the YouTubers, one of my favorite YouTubers, passed away. He committed suicide and that just... Uh, and his name is... The YouTuber is known as Etika and I've been watching him since he had 30,000 subs I remember when he was living with his roommates and um, basically he makes a uh, um he makes video game content basically uh, around Pokemon. That's mainly why what I watch him for. I remember I watch him for um, uh, him reacting to uh, Pokemon Sun and uh, not Pokemon X and Y when it was released and how he was so excited. And then after a while, I kind of stopped watching him. And then I re um, started watching some of his streams again because there was like a bunch of controversy with him, but his content was always funny to me. Uh, but yeah, in uh, there was some disturbing stuff that he posted on his Twitter, and there was just like a bunch of controversy. And I didn't know what to think of it because I, I hadn't him, I haven't watched him in a while, and so I just thought that was maybe part of his branding. And it's like, but actually at the same time, I kind of like. I kind of could tell that something was off. Like a lot of people were trying to give him help and stuff like that, and. <sighs> Um, I'm just really, really sad that he's gone, and I I just don't know what to think about it because it's just like it's I, I've I've been trying to watch a lot of videos to find out like more what happened, and a lot of his viewers were um um would just tell him to kill himself sometimes on stream as jokes and stuff, but. Uh, I just don't know what happened, but uh, either way, I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make this drawing to um, remember him by. I really enjoyed his content. I really liked the Pokemon reactions. I loved his gameplays. He was hilarious, and I can't believe that he was going through all of that. I watched um, his 8-minute suicide video before YouTube took it down, and I was just really shocked by that, and I just... Uh, I don't know what the point of this video, but I wanted to shine light on mental health and in his suicide video he 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 explained on how he f on how things would have been different if he wasn't stubborn or if he accepted help and I just kind of wanted to cover that a little bit today guys because uh, the internet is just a huge part of our lives and it's becoming very toxic um now and then when people argue and a lot of people thought the way he was acting was for publicity stun and and just like there's just so much going on on the internet that i think it's worth it no matter if you're arguing with someone you disagree to just always be kind to each other you never know what someone has going on you never know what front like other people has and also if you do get hate comments or someone says something mean to you on the internet don't take it personally um it does not reflect on you it's a reflection on them and it's also really good to take breaks uh, once in a while because like sometimes i open twitter uh, all i see trending is just like negative news here and left and if that affects you you could just completely just try to undistance yourself from it and yeah and with this drawing i i used a reference it was actually one of his poses where he was just posing with his switch i know he's was a big fan of the switch and that was one of the things that sadly that he left near the bridge right before um he committed suicide and oh man i i just don't know how to just feel about this it really affects me even though i wasn't up uh, I wasn't, I didn't watch all of his videos, but I did watch him since the beginning. I did know the stories of when, like, he couldn't pay for rent, and then <laughs> there was, like, a sheet, and then his <laughs> roommates were there, and sometimes he was filming in a box, and he was still creating content, and it brought me a lot of joy, and also he was living, um, in, he was, he was, he, he was living in New York and that was like my city and he was talking about some of the harsh realities of living in New York and I remember um, on how one time his apartment caught on fire and he lost almost everything. Uh, I Don't quote me on that but I remember he was talking about it in some of his videos and man, I, this youtuber was i really was a big fan of him i after like with the whole controversy of him of his channel got deleted i lost kind of i lost a bit of touch i didn't know where to find him after that and but other than that guys i just i i 
I just don't know. It's it's <sighs> the new digital age. I really don't want any to see any other influencers go through something like this. And uh, let me talk about the drawing a little bit. This was like a really quick sketch that I did right before work um, um, today. And I wanted to have this video up. And um, that's why like my lines are not like the smoothest. And I didn't like go in for heavy shading. I, I did a little bit of shading, but then I just kind of went with the airbrush tool and just played a lot with the lighting and the colors. Um, also guys, it was really hard for me to draw the hands because I was I was in a rush, like the peace sign hand looks really really bad and I didn't put as much detail into the Nintendo Switch because I wanted to focus on the face, like I'm an artist that likes to draw facial expressions. Uh, but yeah, I hope I was able to depict him right. Um, I, I decided to just draw him from a happy moment where he's smiling. I hope whatever he's going through that his pain has stopped. I, I don't know. I really don't know how to deal with something like this, but I just really wanted to do a little memoir of him and the content that he creates and to bring aware to some of the issues that we have. Um, the new age of, oh, oops, the new age of digital media and everyone's online and guys, guard your mind, guard your heart and please don't, please don't end up like him. And alright guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoy this speed paint and I post every week and I'll catch you guys in my next one. And let me know if you're a fan of Etika or not. And have a good one guys. Bye.